thanks so much for joining us as we uh, continue through the the promises in the Psalms. We could find promises throughout Scripture, and it seems like God has just piled His promises in uh, Israel's uh, worship guide, the Book of Psalms. So God is in complete control of all things. You believe that? God's in control. His sovereignty is not delegated or shared. He is intimately involved in the day-to-day -day affairs of life, your life and my life, everyone in the world, and all the issues and movement of the world. And it gets personal because today we learn in our psalm that, that my days are in his hands, Psalm 31, 14 and 15. But I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. I mean, that's a powerful verse, isn't it? All the days of my life are recorded in God's book before one of them came to be. Psalm 139, 16 says, he knows where I will be and when I'll be there. He knows when my last breath will be taken. My life will not be cut short. My days are in his hands. The fear of uncertainty can flow through our limited images of God. Some view him as a hand-wringing God who would like to help us, but isn't able. Many picture him as a great clockmaker who winds up history and then lets it run its course. However, my God is worthy of trust. Because we're, mind, we're reminded in today's promise, my days are in his hands. So, Father, I, I don't pretend to understand everything going on in my life. But I can say with the psalmist, I trust in you because my days are in your hands. You are in complete control. I trust in you alone. And I thank you that I can trust you, that you give me hope and that you give me freedom. In Jesus' name, amen.